Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So recently I got a project on this Valentine's Day sale from one of my clients. And from that project, I have got a design. Here you can see that. So I just thought to quickly share a tutorial on regarding how can we animate this simple design into a motion poster or something like that. I hope you can use this for one of your client projects or maybe for your special one on this Valentine's Day and share on social media. So I hope you will like it. With that said, now let's get started. Alright, so we'll start the process by importing this design into our After Effects project. And before doing that, please make sure that your design elements are into separate layers, right? Here you can see that all of the elements are in separate layers. I have already organized that. And while importing, please make sure that you have selected this as composition. So it will keep the layer structure as it is, okay? Now hit OK and now double click it so here you can see that we have already opened the composition okay now let's start by animating each and every layer okay so what i'll do i'll just uh, solo this layer first and let me import my image as well okay so what i'll do i'll just uh, drag it like this way and position it properly just like that okay now what I'll do, I'll select these two layer, press Ctrl Shift C to pre-compose this and name it as frame. So this is going to be our frame composition and move all the attributes to the new composition. Hit OK. Now go to this frame composition and after that select the track mat as alpha mat. Okay. So here you can see that we have placed our image into this uh, heart shape. And after that select this image layer and press ctrl shift c again and name it as a placeholder okay and make sure this time you are doing this leave all attributes in this frame okay so this is going to be your placeholders okay so whatever image you are placing over here this is gonna show in the frame and in the main design as well today i have a little bit sore throat so please bear with me and uh, with that said now let's continue and so what i'll do i'll just um, duplicate this layer by pressing ctrl d okay and i'll place this one under the placeholder okay and now turn on the visibility and scale it a little bit just like this okay looks good so after that what i'll do i'll place an effect over this uh, layer and that is radial wipe okay and after that i'll make it 100 and i'll put in a keyframe like this i'll go to one second and while you are moving uh, forward you can press ctrl shift and arrow key to go to 10 frames just like this and make it zero around one second okay i think we can uh, stretch this one to two second and it will look good yeah it will be slow like this and after that, I'll just select these two keyframes and I'll press F9 to easy ease those. And at the end, place this layer around two seconds where the transition completes. Okay. Now go to the main design and now let's animate this thing. Okay. So at around two seconds, the animation completes. So let's go to there. Around two seconds. And now press Alt Shift S to set a keyframe on the scale properties. Now go to frame zero and make this one as uh, 60 okay so it will look like this now one more thing i want to do i'll select these two keyframes i'll press f9 to easy ease those and i'll go to graph editor now i am using value graph not the speed graph so if you are using speed graph your graph will look like this but this time we are going to use value graph because it will give us more uh, capabilities and more options to do okay so after that what i want i want to add an overshoot animation into my uh, design okay okay so what i'll do i'll set a keyframe on this graph i'll press ctrl and left click to set another keyframe and i'll drag this curve just like this okay okay after that what i'll do i'll solo this layer so let's animate it quickly. So I'll press Alt Shift and P to set a keyframe on the position property. Uh, let's go to 10 frames forward. 
so i'll press ctrl shift and right arrow key and i'll drag this keyframe just like this go to zero frame and drag it like this way okay and as well as i'll press alt shift and t to set a keyframe on the position property as well i'll drag this keyframe just like this way and i'll make it zero okay now let's ramp preview it and let's see so i think it is uh, moving quite a little bit faster okay after that i'll select this keyframes i'll press f9 and now uh, let's see so looking good now after that i'll select the heart layers and let's animate it quickly as well uh, set a keyframe by pressing ctrl shift p and as well as ctrl shift t to set keyframes on both the properties i'll place these keyframes a few frames forward around seven seconds i'm gonna place it and after that drag it like this way and set the opacity zero as well now let's ramp preview it and let's see how it is looking okay uh, okay and after that what i'll do i'll animate the ribbon okay so here you can see that the ribbon and i'll add an effect on this layer and that is you see page turn i think if you are following my every effects explain series so you already know about this effect i have shown many effects in that series as well so if you are not following that series uh, please go and watch the videos of that series it is very much informative i'll set a keyframe on this fold position and uh, i'll press u to reveal the keyframe i'll place the keyframe a few frames forward and after that i'll drag it like this way so here you can see that it is rolling like a paper okay just like this now let's see how it is looking looks pretty good right and i'm showing you how to animate this text layer easily okay so what i'll do i'll create a mask on this uh, layer just like this and after that i'll go to mask path i'll set a keyframe i'll put this keyframe a few frame forwards and after that i'll drag the mask layer just like this okay and i'll set the feather to 30. now let's ramp preview it and let's see okay so it will animate like this way and at the end what i'll do i'll add a effect on the frame layer and that is bevel bevel alpha so it will give it a 3d kind of uh, 3d object like look okay and after that i'll add a drop shadow increase the softness of it and decrease the opacity so in this way you can make a cool looking valentine's day kind of social media post uh, for your clients or for your loved ones and share it on instagram and facebook as well if you have learned something new today please like the video and let me know your suggestions in the comments and please subscribe to the channel because i'm bringing new videos each and every week so with that said this is shubham pramanik signing off and i'll see you in the next video keep animating keep smiling <laughs>